Bang! On we go. It's all right, we'll get you out of here. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. Yeah, yeah. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! <laughs> Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? <laughs> well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! That's not horrifyingly mind warping. It's like a brain warp. What's going on? Maybe you should get that. It's a very brainwashy society. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay. I'm not gonna fall to my death, am I? Well, the man's got an ego. Huh. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. <sighs> it's been a while since I played this game, but I can still feel it. I still feel involved into it. Oh, no. Now, some say to me, think. Why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. <laughs> you see, the Fink Company Store brings you Fink products at a price designed specifically for the Fink worker. <laughs> Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, but Mr. Fink's interest Perfect is timing. strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss. But any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. That was very... Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. Find the gunsmith, Chen Li. Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop? Let's have a quick look around. So, it seems rather odd that people would go along with this. But, I'm not one to question it, and to be honest, if there's an entire society, like, it's a whole fear thing. So if everyone's listening to it, being drummed into it, then I guess it's not really something that's easily quest questioned. You, know, you can say, why don't you not do this? But when you're not in that scenario, it seems very Look, interesting. Cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Well, you're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. There should be a codebook somewhere. Huh. So we need to find the codebook? Yes. Okay. This is interesting. Elizabeth can decrypt ciphers that hide secret Vox Populi compartments. Find the cipher and its corresponding codebook to uncover the hidden treasure. It's been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Gonna take your money. Okay. Um, 
up. Here we go. But yeah, it's like if a whole... It's like the whole society thing, you know. If you turn around... Oh, no, this is back. If you turn around to, um... To a group of adults and you say something goes against their society, it kind of... Everyone looks at you as if you're insane. And like, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you following you everyone know, else? I wasn't born dead. Why, why must you be different? Uh, it's like in, 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 this, in this game, the delivery is just walked. Go on, take in whatever it is. They don't, they, they listen to someone else about the word of the prophet. And automatically it's law. Oh, look, it's in the lead. What goes in its place? Whiskey? So that's what I kind of think of this at the moment. Here's some cash. Okay, cash. Awesome. Appreciate it. I have a pressing need to speak to this so called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Okay. So we're getting a little bit deeper into this. Yeah, man, then. Bring me into that gun shop. There we go. Can I have a look? Can I take all your money and your coffee? And... Well, anything I get my hands on. Nope, nothing there. Okay, up we go. Please don't chuck me in that fire. I'd rather not die. I've already died twice. I've read about this. That's Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Well, I'm already liking this guy. Whoever made this game. Well, I'm liking the... Uh, in including the food in there. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Why are we just downstairs? Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Okay. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha, pray, give husband back, give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker will find it. Just leave her be. Why Aww. not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Cops. Interesting. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Huh. What a fitting place to have that kind of a... Uh... Well, that seems like a very small place, especially for it to be loading it in and out. A 
Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't even, let's see if this helps so. Oh, that's the... I, I already told this, yeah? You can only wear four pieces at a time. When shooting empty clips have a 40% chance of auto-filling without reload. 70% chance that a melee target is set ablaze. Victims take 300 damage over four seconds. No, that's fine. I'll take it. But... Yep. Yeah. That was one big guy. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Hair. I never heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Interesting. Okay. Whoa! She is so helpful. Something over there. Oh! Ah, I don't need that now. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock. Well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child like we can enter now. Is Door here. There it is, Mr. Twin. 
just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Enter. Good time club. Time to get our funk on. Gotta get down groovy. And all that other crap. <laughs> Not the kind of club ah, I was thinking. Do it, my boy. You know, the best kind of interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. No, bro. Bro. Whoa. What the fuck? Take it. Much obliged. I didn't lose a lot of health there. Now, oh, where is that guy? Oh, okay, that keeps hitting me. I knew that was gonna work.
Whoa. Did not mean that. in your job, Fink. Now, now, oh, I know God. all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink's security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Interesting. Nothing? No? Nothing? Oh, okay then. Let's uh, make our way down now. Definitely, uh, I got an arena sense of that. Okay, what's the word? Colosseum feel there. Booker, there's a door over here. Yeah. I think that's the way down. Right, there's nothing else here, so let's go down. Uh, oh, here we go.
So how come she can just walk along? Repel the invader! Sorry, ma'am, for kind of, you know, whacking you in the face and then, you know, kind of uh, drilling, drilling some bullets into your body. Oh yeah, and for stealing your banana. That, 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 that's not cool either. You hold on to this. Catch. Thank you. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. Nice. You know that ruffled look is kinda of, kinda of suiting you. Come on. Elizabeth. Sure thing. See? I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. <laughs> Nice. That was well said. Out where I can Whoa! Ah! But it does just seem like every single time I get a headshot, there's like lightning everywhere. 